Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and look what's come out, it's the Christmas jumper! That can only mean one thing. Today's video is the second video of my Christmas planning. I don't even know! <laughs> So yeah, this is the second video. My first video um, came out in September and I will link it below and above should you guys be interested in watching that, although it's a little bit light, but you could still do some of those things that I suggested in that video. But um, I shall kick today's video off with, um, how many tips have we got on this one? Oh, we've only got five tips on this one, so it won't be as long. So the first tip I have got for you guys to do to prepare yourselves for a hopefully less stressful and anxiety free Christmas is to get your Christmas paper if you haven't got any left from the previous year and to start wrapping presents now and write, um, write a list of what you've bought so that you remember which is what I covered in my last video. Um, I find that leaving wrapping presents to the last minute is super super stressful and you can't enjoy Christmas when you're sat on at Christmas Eve wrapping presents which admittedly I hate to say we did leave wrapping presents quite late last year not quite Christmas Eve but it was stressing me out and I ended up conceding and letting Mark wrap some presents he doesn't wrap to my standards but I just had to give in to defeat because there were so many presents that hadn't been wrapped and I was like I can't do this on my own so he said I'll do it and he did it within like 20 minutes and I was like mm, well it doesn't look nice but then it's the kids and they're gonna rip them open anyway so who cares but that is definitely my top tip is to get some more Christmas paper if you haven't got any leftover I've got some leftover from last year but I'll be purchasing some more um, but the other tip to do with wrapping paper is get it in the sales. I mean, most people do that anyway. Um, but it's I find it less stressful to get, if you haven't got your paper in the sales, so after Christmas in the January sales, I find it less stressful to buy it now in November than to try and get it in December when everybody seems to be getting it. Um, it it's just one less thing that you've got to do in December so that you can actually enjoy the run-up to Christmas. So my next tip for Christmas planning is get the advent calendars or fillers if you've got the um, reusable advent calendars uh, now. Again, same thing. It's just one less thing. You don't want to be doing it on the last day of November. Sat there at 11 o'clock at night stuffing all these things or panicking that you haven't bought one and you end up going to get like a really crappy one that you don't want. Which is unfortunately what happened to us last year because um, we just left it so last minute. All of a sudden at the end of November was upon us and I had to just go and get whatever advent calendar I could find um, and it was just it just stressed me out <laughs> so get them in early uh, my next tip is ooh, I like this one because it's to do with food order your Christmas food and book your delivery slot now um, I th think you can book a delivery slot quite far in advance now don't freak out people but I have my Christmas food delivered at the beginning of December for like Christmas Day and I keep it in my fridge and freezer, but obviously not in the fridge because it will go off, but I keep everything in my freezer. So my turkey arrives at the beginning of December, um, my big ham arrives, everything I get that I can delivered at the beginning of December that I require to you know food for I will get because it's one less thing I have been in to the big shops at four o'clock in the afternoon on Christmas Eve and I'd be lucky to get a sprout it's so stressful so if you just you've written your list of what you needed back in my 
September video, you've written your list of food you need, so all you need to do now is just get online and book it. And then that's a massive job you've just done and you've not even hit December yet. Good job. <laughs> so the next thing, my, la my next tip is um, have a clear out and uh, to prepare for the new Christmas presents coming in. Obviously this is aimed more at people with children. So um, I try and have like a little sort out every couple of months. Um, I would tend to rotate the toys so that they're not just playing with the same ones because obviously kids nowadays have so many toys that you can't have them all out at once otherwise you just you'd be under a mountain of toys. So I tend to rotate them out so that um, they get to play with everything and then if there's any a specific toy that even after being rotated is kind of like not played with so much I just like subtly shimmy it on over into a bag and I can decide then whether I'm going to donate it, sell it or throw it away if it's broken um, and that's just in the preparation for getting more presents in for Christmas because if you don't do things like that you're going to end up with so much stuff and no room, nowhere to put it and that would just freak me out. Um, so my final tip for this uh, Christmas planning video is to do a big deep clean ready for you to put your decorations up. Now I put my decorations up before the 1st of December. Um, oh do I have a baby awake? I think I have a baby awake. <laughs> um, I put my decorations up before the beginning of December. So I will tend to do a big deep clean around the middle of uh, November. And then the last week of November is when my decorations come down and they get put up. Um, but definitely have a big deep clean because some people move furniture around to accommodate where they want their Christmas tree to go and decorations to go. Um, so obviously if you've moved your furniture out, you're gonna have bits of dust behind there that you don't clean every day so definite tip is a nice big deep clean before you put your decks up and I believe let me just double check yeah I believe that is all of my tips for you to be doing this month the month before December now I mentioned in my last video that I hope to do um vlogmas I'm still hoping to be able to do that um, but it'll be my first time doing it with two kids and um, I may miss a few days so I do apologize if that is the case but I will try my very very best um, and uh, there is one more of these Christmas planning videos um, that will be coming up for you guys and I will probably have that put up the um, week before Christmas so it will be one of um, I will film it for one of my vlogmas videos so um, I hope that this has been helpful for you and help you to have a less stressful and anxiety free Christmas and um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you on the next video. Bye guys! <laughs>